All right, welcome to Make the Cut Classroom. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing um, a PNG importer pixel trace, uh, showing you what the trace features options are and how to how to put it in to make the cut. And we're going to have a part two video showing you once you have it in Make the Cut, how you're going to layer it and do a little multi-color color touch to it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and go in here to make the cut. We're going to click this cog button here, a little gear, and we're going to do a pixel trace. You can also hit Control shift t or it, this can also be found under the file menu. So there are many ways to do a pixel trace. They all end up right here. Um, we're going to select the file that we're wanting to trace. And, you know, I just got this from the internet and I uh, thought it would be a nice simple trace to do. And you'll see a little preview over here. You can go ahead and hit open and uh, that should open up right here. Now as you can see uh, you have your visual visualization tools right here. Uh, the alpha channel, you know, you can slide that forward and back and all that is is really changing the the opacity of the the colored image that you have underneath. Uh, that's just so that when you zoom in real nice and tight you can see you know what what the image is actually being traced you know is it tracing all of it you know and I'm doing this by right clicking like I said and uh, that that should help you with your with your visualization now you saw me use the zoom tool and uh, this is a good tool to zoom in real nice and close as you can see this part right here is not being uh, traced and we'll fix that under the rendering down here but uh, next is the showing the nodes uh, you check this box and you'll see all these little blue dots that are that are around the image and that just goes to show you that uh, those are the points those are the that uh, that make the cut is sending to your Cricut to sort of connect the dots connect the cuts and uh, the more nodes you have the longer cut time you may have but uh, you can also think of that as the more nodes I have the more detailed my image is going to be so it's all up to you as the cutter on what you are wanting all right, uh, the next thing is rendering. This is probably what you're going to play with the most right here is the threshold. And this is what really is sort of doing the tracing. And then once we do the tracing, we're going to fine tune it with these following three. Um, as you can see right now, it's set to 127. And if you highlight your mouse or hold your mouse over this box here or any of these boxes, the uh, the mouse tool tip comes out. As you can see, it says pixel pixel threshold it goes from 1 to 255 and 127 happens to be right smack in the middle so you can see whether you need to adjust left or right and as you can see I can adjust all the way to the, the left which is 1 hit apply changes and it's not picking up barely anything and likewise I can hit 255 hit apply changes and it's picking up everything so that's why that one that 127 is a, is a good starting point so that you can see where do I need to go from here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shift it up. I think I, I, I pre-done this and I knew that 148 worked, but it's just a trial and error thing. And uh, I'll hit, a, hit apply changes. It filled this in. Uh, however, you know, we can scroll down here and it picked up a little stuff down here, but we can fix that in part two. So let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that we see here, which is uh, sampling. Or resample, and I think of this as uh, you have a megapixel camera, and the higher the megapixels, the more detailed your image is going to be. So if I look down here and I see 395 for nodes, I'm I can go ahead and select you know 5.0, which is sort of like a 5.0 megapixel camera. I'm thinking in my head, and I hit apply changes, and look at that, it jumped up, you know 1393. That's a lot. And like I said, the more nodes you have, the longer cut time you can expect. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that back down to 1, hit Apply Changes. Now smoothing. Smoothing says that, uh, that your details, your corners, for example, like uh, if you go all the way down to 0, it says no, no smooth corners. And if you go all the way up to 100, you have no sharp corners. So again, that's, that's all about detail, how detailed you want. Now optimize, uh, we can see this uh, this node re reduction here by using the optimize, and uh, you know you can hold that tooltip over there. It says zero is no optimization, or 100 is full. So let's go ahead and go full and see what it gives us. And I can go ahead and hit apply changes. Now let's watch these nodes right here, and uh, you know it dropped to 305. So 
use optimization as a as a tool to use and you'll just have to play around and t tweak it and once you are finished you can go ahead and hit the import button which is right here and it will go ahead and place that image right there on your mat so stay tuned for part two on how we can layer this change it to different colors so you can then cut by color um, and that will make the, the image clear to you once we get it all finished so stay tuned